Hi guys, welcome back. So today I decided to sit down and film a quick little tutorial mostly focused on lips. So if you know me, I'm a big red lip person. I love a red lip on anyone. I think it's beautiful. I think it's classic. I think it's classy. Um, what I love about a red lip is that you could dress it up or you could dress it down. Um, I have no problem looking like this and going to work and I have no problem looking like this and going out to dinner or going out for the night. So that's what I really love about this look and the classic red lip is that it's so versatile and you could really wear it any way you want to looking casual, fancy, whatever, that's what I love about it. This look today is just my go-to red lip look. Um, usually if I am wearing a red lip, I try to really um, tone down my eyes um, and focus more on my lips and my skin. So anyway, let's jump right into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. And one thing that I want to um, add in quickly is that I did incorporate a lot of drugstore makeup and high-end makeup. I know a lot of people feel pressured to always wear high-end makeup like NARS and MAC and Stila and all this and that. But you know what? It's You don't have to. Um, it's perfectly okay to go to your C CVS or Dwayne Reed or Walmart and pick up whatever kind of makeup's there, whether it's $5, $15, that is okay too. Because at the end of the day, you just want to create one look and have the same outcome and that's all that really matters. So I incorporated a little bit of everything, some $3 powder and some $30 this, this and that. So let's jump right in. I hope you guys enjoy and keep watching. All right, so I already moisturized my face, let it sit in for a couple minutes, and now I'm gonna go on to really priming my face. So I start off with the Benefit Pore Professional, and I kind of dab this into my problematic areas or where I feel like I have big pores. Next, I take my NYX Concealer in Fair, and I put this over any spots on my face I feel are a little discolored or a recovering zit or whatnot just to make sure that my skin is even. Next, I go in with the Infallible Pro Glow by Maybelline, and I put this all over my face with my finger. Make sure that your hands are clean, though. It is so important to put your makeup on with clean hands. I like to have full, full coverage, so I like to go in a little bit more after I finished blending, just to make sure I have the desired coverage that I want. Also, when blending in all of my foundation, I do use a wet beauty blender. I find this is the best method to create that perfect, flawless looking skin. So now I'm actually gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna use my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. I have been dying over this concealer. I just got it. Uh, so I actually just dip it in and I only use one little dip and it just covers everything on my face. So for the one side of my eye, I use one side of the brush, or should I say wand, and then for the other side of my eye, I use the other side of the wand. Uh, and I put this all underneath my eyes and I drag it down my nose. I put a little bit on my nose. I feel like this helps with my nose contouring. And then I put a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. So I'm gonna go back in with my wet beauty blender and I'm really, really gonna blend everything in. This is such an important step because if you are not blending properly underneath your eyes, you really are gonna get that cakey effect. Next, I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics palette. It's a contour and blush palette. And I'm gonna take some Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder. I'm gonna pour that onto my palette this is really easy for me because then I could just take my beauty blender and really pack on that powder so I could really, really pack it underneath my eyes. I like to layer this on. Uh, for some reason, I find that layering the powder, sometimes instead of baking the powder, does 
the same exact job without having to leave it there underneath your eyes. Of course, if I'm using uh, darker eyeshadows that would require a lot of fallout, then I like to keep that big on. Next, I'm gonna take my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and I'm gonna line the sides of my nose. I have no idea where I got this brush. I think I've had it for years. I don't know, I've just, I've found that it's the easiest for contouring my nose. So I'm gonna go down the sides of my nose and once I feel like I'm at a desirable nose structure, I'm gonna take that same colorless powder and I'm gonna go in and just kind of blend all of that out. Now I'm taking a MAC bronzer. I actually don't remember the name of it. Uh, my bad. <laughs> and I'm taking a Sigma brush. Um, I believe it's the large powder brush and I just kind of go over my face and my general contouring area just to start warming it up. Next I'm going to take an angled Sigma brush and I'm going to go back in with that Hoola bronzer and now really start to define and contour those cheekbones, the top of my head, underneath my chin. I don't like to go too, too crazy with contouring because I do really have a round face, but I do the much, as much as I can. Uh, now I'm going to go in with uh, the blush from my contour and blush palette I was just telling you about and brighten up my cheeks and once I'm done with that I take some of NARS Orgasm and go a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm just going to go back with that beauty blender and sponge and now I'm going to bake underneath my cheekbones. This is really to give that defined jawline. So I'm just gonna let that sit there while I start to do the rest of my makeup. Now for eyebrows. I am going to make my eyebrows pretty defined today, so I'll be using my Anastasia Dip Brow in Chocolate. Uh, eyebrows are, are weird, they're weird things. So I will totally make a video about how I do my eyebrows if you wanna see that. But this is just kind of a general idea about how I outline them fill them in. When I do my eyebrows a little bit more defined, it does take a few steps for me to really get my eyebrows the way that I want them to, but I feel like when you are doing your makeup, eyebrows is one of the most important things that you should focus on because they really are the center of your face. Uh, you always look at someone for their eyebrows. So once I am done filling them in, I'm going to take that NYX concealer that I used in the beginning and I'm going to kind of clean up any kind of lines that I'm finding underneath my brows and just to really sharpen those edges up. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to go in and blend that line out just to make sure everything is looking smooth. I also use this as a primer for my eyeshadow. I love brow gel now. It's my new thing. I'm obsessed. So now I'm just gelling my eyebrows. So I'm going to go with my Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. And yes, this is my holy grail. I use it all the time in like every video. So I'm going to go in with Bestie and Are You Kidding Me? With that blending brush, my infamous blending brush. I use it in everything. I just love it and going all over my eyes. Because this video is all about red lips, I don't want my eyeshadows to be looking pristine. Um, I do, this is like my new look, I guess. I really like that messy kind of brown look. Um, now I'm gonna take the top row of my Violet Boss palette, all those nudes and those shimmery colors, and I'm just gonna go underneath my eyebrow bone to kind of brighten things up. And I also have been loving the Anastasia Renaissance palette. These have been like my go-to, both of them, for the past month. I'm disgustingly obsessed. I don't know what I'm watching right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna take that Anastasia brush and go in with the color Tempura, again, underneath my brow bone and the inner corner of my eyes. And then now I'm just gonna take the opposite side of that brush, the blending side, and kind of blend everything in. Um, and I used uh, one of those darker brown shades for that. Now I'm also gonna pull underneath my eye, kind of the excess of that shadow, just to really bring it all together and make it a little smoky. 
For my nose highlight, I've been using those two shimmery colors from the Modern Renaissance palette, and I am up over them. They are so creamy. I need to find this in a highlighter. It comes out so good. I mean, my nose is shining. And then I'm just going to blend that highlight in with that damp beauty blender. So before I put on my eyelashes, I'm going to make sure that they are really curled and then go in with my Benefit Roller Lash. This has been my go-to mascara this past summer. It has made me fall in love with my natural eyelashes again. So I'm going to glue some Violet Voss lashes. I believe these are called Dolls Just Want to Have Fun and I'm going to let them sit and dry. Now I'm going to go in with some NYC powder. I think I got this powder one day as a backup powder for my bag and I recently stumbled upon it and realized it was so good. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and put it underneath my eye, my chin, my forehead to really set everything in. Now I'm going to blend away that bakingness that was underneath my cheekbones with that NYC powder. Now I'm going to go in with a MAC pigment in vanilla. I put a little bit of this on my face as you can see. Now using some MAC Studio FX spray and a fan brush, I'm going to blend that out and whoop, look at that highlight. That is a highlight. I am dying. Now I'm going to take my Kylie Cosmetics Mary Jo lip pencil and I'm going to line my lips with this bad boy. Lip lining is so important to me. I make sure I do it every single time before I put on my matte lipstick just to really make sure I lock in all of that color and my lips don't bleed. I hate when the color bleeds from my lips. So I'm gonna fill my lips in with that pencil. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna take my absolute, absolute ride or die favorite Stila lip color and that is Biso. This is my all-time favorite red. And I'm gonna just put that bad boy on. So there you have it for my little red lip look. Um, anytime that I really wear red lipstick, this is kind of my go-to look for that. So Cleo and I are going to go right now, probably get some food, drink some coffee. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you back here soon. Ready to blow kisses, please? Ready to blow kisses for the cameras? Mm. <laughs> that was so cute.